Hey everyone, HKA here. Today we're gonna do TV like displays in Cinema 4D and Redshift. Let's go. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit how I learned this technique. So I was looking for the tutorials about texturing, creating TV like displays, so I can do the mockups like phones, TVs. I couldn't find anything proper, so I decided to ask on forums, MoGraph, Slack, and also not Grayscale Gorilla Discord. Um, that's a mouthful. I was pleasantly surprised that, you know, people went out of their way. Uh, I've got a reply on MoGraph.com from John Bosliff, who is a uh, capacity in the industry and he showed me his way and then I asked on uh, Grayscale Gorilla and there was a Revo Color moderator who sent me the whole project file so I was pleasantly surprised that there's such a good community uh, support definitely want to do the same so I'm going to share the project files with you uh, today and I'm going to show you my way I was combining the both ideas the guys showed me and I also want to thank them for being such an awesome part of the community Ciao. I will now speed through the building of our scene with the TV, which of course will be included on my camera without plants and materials because of copyrights, ha? Huh? I started with two planes and cube inside a cloner to create stairs using a step mode. I was like, hey, let's not mess with the plane and just use extrude modeling tool for the whole wall. And I added cylinder in slice mode to have a pedestal for pots and plants. And then I just use another cube object to create TV stand, slap on some materials. And by the way, I forgot to put material on the floor completely. I used rectangle spline with rounding in an extrude object to create a TV display and then a little bigger one for a glass frame. Okay, let's go to C4D now and create this material together. So here we are in Cinema 4D and Redshift and we're gonna create a material incandescent and drop it onto our TV, which will create this shiny TV display, which is a good sign. I'll double click our shader tag and just go to edit shader graph. Now I have an incandescent material into our output node just put it on the side and go to textures and bring our texture. So Redshift texture is in and we go to our image in a general tab image and go to path and bring in our PNG sequence. So I have already prepared. So I'll bring the first image of our PNG sequence and go to animation and select the mode simple. Now I'm gonna press the button detect frames and it will detect it detected 240 frames uh, of the animation. The next thing we want, we want to map this video onto our TV display. So for that, we're gonna use our UV projection. Just gonna play with the numbers for a second. I'm just gonna plug the texture into texture color and then plug the out color to illumination color. Now I can go to our redshift texture and turn off the wrap U wrap V and just keep one and go to our UV projection node and change the projection. I already have the number almost dialed in so should be fine. So that's about right. And now it's mapped onto our TV. The video, as you can see, if I scrap through the timeline, it's, uh, the video is updating, which is great sign. And if I go close to it, I don't see any, any texture. It's just a flat video inside the glass frame, which is not bad, which is not bad. It's a good start point, but um, we want more. So I'll click on our material edit shader graph, go back and bring in another texture. And that will be the texture that we will use to give that realism to our display. So in the Photoshop, I created these three rectangles, uh, red, green, blue. We can plug this texture through our color layer. So we have a color layer and that will be before our incandescent material. So we're just gonna push the projection node and we put it in a base color and that out color will go into our incandescent material. And now we have a layer color, one color for our other texture. So we have a base color and layer one color. Just plug it in and we put it into blend mode. So we click on a color layer and the blend mode will be multiply. 
we have this TV and the textures on, on there. And only thing we need to do, we're just going to need to multiply those numbers just so we get some kind of a result like that. And now we have the, if I, if I zoom in, if I zoom in, so what, what, what do we did? We added the second texture on top through the color layer. We blended them with multiply mode and uh, we just uh, remap the scale by 640 by the 320. We got it, 6,000 there. Mm, and if I go there, it has now texture. Can't really see that because uh, I would need to increase the intensity to something like uh, eight. And now we can see the display. I can I can already see as well the highlights on the glass frame, which is which is pretty good sign. I really like that. The other thing we could do is the area light behind the TV, right? So I did this uh, area light behind the TV. So wh what would you do? Uh, so if I delete this one. Just do lights, redshift lights, aria light. Let's put it back to our light. And then just kind of make it into shape of our TV somehow. Maybe a little bit smaller like that. Yeah. And just put it behind the TV. So I'm just going to go up. And now it's behind our TV. Just going to reduce the intensity on that just so it's not that crazy. You can also load texture. So I can, I have the same texture loaded. So no, and go. Um, now here's a little bit where I got always stuck. I'm like, I don't have the same setting as other people. So you just press this little arrow and it will open up all another settings that I couldn't see before. And you go to animation, press simple, and you detect frames again. And now you have the same animation, but loaded onto a light, right? So you can increase the increase the intensity now because it's uh, it's taken from the video. You can even go like that exposure to one point three, and now you can see that um, it's actually when you scrap through the intensity is taken from the the video itself. So it's really up to you fine tuning it. You're going to make it a little bit larger just so we have on the side. So we have that and we build it in like no time. So the only thing is, um, you know, the LCD display, it's, uh, it's kind of old technology. So I, uh, maybe I could have asked for something uh, more, uh, you know, recent like a QLED or OLED. But I'm sure that you can, you can just go into those textures and you know, just change this texture to anything that, uh, you know, resembles the most recent displays and, and you can simulate the same effect. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and go to my camera road. You can download this and you can look at it for yourself and you can build your own type display. So have a good one.